Are you drunk enough? Now to judge what I'm doing. My dog just like lays in bed and stares at me in the morning. I have loved you enough. You don't need more love. <laughs> well, this is going to be my intro for my video, I guess, because I'm freezing, I'm pregnant, you know. I have all the excuses for this to be my intro. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. The reason why I am awake right now is because I have an appointment this morning, and that appointment is to get dermaplaned. <laughs> I promised you guys that I would film my next dermaplane appointment, so here we are. And I didn't realize that I had made the appointment, like, so quickly. I thought it was in another, like, two weeks or something. I was wrong. My skin has actually cleared up quite a bit. This baby's been, like, <clears throat> turmoil on my skin. Because I break out. This around my nose has just started recently happening. Like, getting super red. I'm not broken out or nothing it's just hormonal and then this down here I don't I don't know what the fuck that is so anyway <clears throat> I'm gonna lay here and rest a little bit longer before I have to get up and then I'll check back in with you guys right before I get to the spa and talk to you a little bit about where I am who's doing my dermaplane and how it works hello look at this natural lighting you can see all of my flaws I am in my car about to go to the salon and I'm gonna take my prenatals real quick. It's completely frozen. Welcome to Indiana, y'all. The esthetician I will be seeing this morning, her name is Macy. She is awesome. She's one of my closest friends at work. Um, and she also has her own blog too. And it's all about skincare and makeup and all the, all the fun things that we like to read about. And she actually has a whole dermaplaning blog so I will link that down below so that you guys can read on that as well. It's got a lot of good information in it. Basically what we're going to do is I'm going to record me getting the facial the whole time. Um, I'll have Macy kind of like explain the steps that she's taking um, after each one. And then we'll get to the actual dermaplane part and you'll get to see like what comes off of my face. I'm so excited for you guys to see. I love getting dermaplane. I think it's one of the most beneficial facials that you can get. So... I, yeah. So I'm going to eat my prenatal, I'm going to drive to the salon, and then I'll see you guys later. Yes. Okay, I look really fat. looks pretty good. I look really fat. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to give Jessie a dermaplaning facial. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so first step will be cleansing. Um, I use a cleanser for oily skin. Uh, the reason for that is you want to kind of degrease the skin. That way there's no barrier when it comes time to the der to dermaplane. So there's no barrier between your skin and the blade. And we'll do it twice because you should always double cleanse. Double cleansed, so now we're going to put on a solution. It's kind of like a toner, it's got AHA and BHAs in it. And this kind of just preps the skin for before we start. It usually tingles a little bit, especially in areas where you might have like a breakout. Okay, ready? Mm hmm.
here. So for the first time you do it, you'll probably get more than what you see on here. Um, Jesse gets dermaplaned every four weeks, and this is still what comes off. So that's uh, shows you how much dead skin builds up in just four weeks. She doesn't have a lot of hair. It's mostly just dead skin. So now we're gonna mask to kind of put some hydration back. What is this? This is um, my favorite toner that we have. The nutrient? Yeah. It smells like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got pumpkin in it. So it's like a little bit exfoliating. But mm -hmm. Now we're just finishing up with like serums and moisturizers. Um, you're usually like pretty flush and red for a few hours. That's normal. It goes down by the end of the day usually. so fresh and squeaky so fresh and so clean <laughs> hi guys I'm gonna take my glasses off so you can see I just got dermaplane you can see exactly where she like scraped me because my skin's a little bit irritated but oh my gosh it's like the best hour of my whole month to be honest I just love relaxing self-care is very important and yeah after getting dermaplane Sometimes your skin can purge a little bit, meaning anything that's like stuck in your pores or blackheads, they'll kind of come up to the surface because they're all there able to escape. Either they don't have a barrier of dead skin or anything. So all of this around my chin where I normally break out will probably start to kind of come up to the top and then I can do extractions the right way. Um, you don't want to pinch them out with your fingers or anything, but with um, the proper tools and um, products I can um, do extractions on myself so here we are this is about you know 10 minutes after getting dermaplane I'm a little bit sensitive I'm red um, it will go down and I will look totally normal by tonight so yeah hey guys I just want to jump on here really quickly and end this video I just got home from dinner so sorry I look really bad and I worked all day and I have no makeup on so um, this is two days after I've gotten my dermaplane done. You can see that my skin has kind of broken out just a little bit, um, but other than that, I have no dry patches. My skin is very even um, complexion, and I really love the results for my dermaplane. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave, and thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Sorry, my dog just like freaked out. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>